hanging up with these two guys. <laughs> Sandwiched, in fact, between these two guys. You know, we're hungry. We're rolling through Teaneck, and there's an old school institution that is very near to my heart, and I know that uh, these guys have a great opportunity to enjoy it with me. Today we are in Teaneck. Today we are at Noah's Ark. We have something here on the menu that is brand new. This has never been on the menu before, but for Isaac, this is the kind of thing he wants. What are we looking at, Isaac? Fried kreplach. Fried kreplach. Nothing like some dough, some meat, and some fried onions to start the day. You want you want a, you want a from a from empanada. Very from empanada. <laughs> a very good very from empanada. They have something called the. They're just mad because they want to eat because we got the Judge Special <laughs> and and the, and the Judge Special is fried everything. Um, so let's go at it, Judd. I'm gonna let you go at right. that. So you want an onion ring? Grab an onion ring. I know you're an onion ring guy. I happen to like the idea of like these little uh, schnitzel nuggets. This is the vibe. It's the vibe. It's the vibe. You know, in high school. Hey, hey, that's the group what? Camera friend. Oh, I didn't realize we were still recording. Oh, uh, Judd, great choice of a yeah, munchy yeah. starter. <laughs> really fits the spots. This is really iconic Jewish deli burger. Explain to me why, Sir Isaac. What are we looking at? Well, for starters, you got the flame broil on it. You see the black grill mark. Probably a nice, perfect medium on the inside. But you get that crust, that different textures. And then on top, we have the kosher bacon, the OG kosher bacon. We have pastrami. Sizzled up on that grill or griddle, and it just adds that perfect yumminess. And of course, sesame bun. It's got a nice little toast, nice little char. I was looking for four words. Uh, <laughs> no, ba <laughs> no bacon, instead pastrami. Maybe give me a heads up. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he ain't no judge. <laughs> <laughs> You mentioned char because the char is the flavor. It's perfectly cooked. They have a bunch on the menu. They've been doing this for 36 bajillion years. They know what they're doing. Excellent. This is a legitimate burger. There's a certain standout, especially for me, this standout is getting something called the Romanian steak. It's always been that salty, awesome steak that you got as a treat going to a place like this. How important is that char? It's great. And I love the chew of the skirt steak. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of hiccups, huh? The truck legit just moved. I just got in the eye. When traveling with Isaac, our first appetizer is always going to be a fully loaded hot dog. Uh, when you think people who cook a lot and do a lot of maybe finer dining, this, this, is, this is the pinnacle. The hot dog has nothing to do about being a chef that loves junk food. It just has to be with a human who loves good food. A person with taste. That's what that love for a hot dog is. Don't bring the hot dog down and tell me I have to come down to the hot dog's level. Amen. We are striving to be on the level of the hot dog. Well, this looks like a fine hot dog. And let me tell you, the basic necessity is sauerkraut, relish, and mustard. The idea to me that always represented a kosher deli was a fat stack of stramis. Certain important things here, fatty stramis. You want it steamed, you want it juicy, and I'm gonna slather mustard all over that. Slather, they just slather. This is the most direct. <laughs> Noah's Ark represents perhaps for the first time I ever ate at like a kosher style deli that was actually kosher. And I had a great time here with my father when I was 13 and I was enjoyed and overjoyed to see Jello on the menu. <laughs> Give me one minute. <laughs> it starts with your father and then like, he didn't even talk about Jello yet. What? Jello with my father. <laughs> I remember those days. I was 13 and getting kicked out of yeshiva. And then where do you go? Where do you go? <laughs> Noah's Ark for the Jello. Noah's Ark for the Jello. But nothing says I love you so. Like some Jello.
Being sandwiched by these two in such a historical and lovely restaurant has been fantastic. Did you all have a good time? Yes. Amazing. Really yes. Did you say more than three words on camera? No. Good job. Did you? Yes. Food here really represents something that kind of we grew up with on TV, that Jewish idea of a deli, but it showed it off as kosher. I've always loved it. It's always been my benchmark of a sort. Noah's Ark, been around for a long time, repping the old school, still doing it. t New Jersey. Oh, 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 oh,